Hey everybody, we're back here at the Texas County Horse Sale. Um, I know you know that I'm full on stock, but there's a few horses here tonight that really ca caught my eye and we're gonna go try to find them. And I have a couple reasons for coming. I got some ideas for the, some upcoming uh, content that we're gonna do in the spring. My friend Greg Gully has decided to finally go full time and I've been encouraging him to quit his job and to do full-time training. That's his dream and he is cut out for it because as good a trainer as I may think I am, I can see real talent when I see it and Greg has got it. So he's gonna go into full-time horse training um, once he gets back from traveling with his job that he's he's been on the, he works for the oil pipelines, I believe, and he's been gone for about eight months. Mm -hmm. When he gets back, he's gonna go full-time and what I think we're gonna do is a colt starting clinic, a couple day colt starting clinic, where people can bring horses. Uh, I'm gonna make a bunch of content about it. And what I want to do is buy a couple unstarted young horses that look like they might have some talent and some value that we could add to them. Buy them at a smaller auction out here in the country, have Greg start them in the uh, colt starting seminar, and then, um, take them to a, a bigger auction um, where you have to consign them a few months ahead. The other reason we're here is I have a friend that we've been talking to about starting their own YouTube channel because it's really on her heart to start a 501c horse rescue where she can rehabilitate and place horses um, back into you know good loving homes. So she's working her way towards her goals and we're gonna go look for her now and we'll introduce her in just a minute. Okay, so here's two of these horses that I was thinking about that I saw consigned earlier in the, in the sale. These are both two-year-olds. So by the spring, they'd be big enough and stout enough for us to do that colt starting clinic on. And they're both quarter horses, they're both registered. Okay. This one looks like, a, looks like a roan too. Is it a mare um, or a filly? Let me, let me get around and check them. I believe, it's a, I believe it's a gelding. It's tall. He's got a really nice back one. Yeah, he's gonna be a good looking horse. He's got some size and build, and you can tell it's been taken care of well too, which is nice. It's fed and it's. See, it's pretty. Huh? Yeah, it's pretty. It's clear eyed, bright eyed. No, no, no drainage in the nose. Not just extremely gentle yet, but that's what we want for this, you know, idea that we're thinking about doing. Wait, so how old is he? He's gonna be. He's two already. He's two. So be just right for starting this year. I like starting them a little bit younger. It's easier on their mind. I know a lot of people are gonna say a horse isn't fully developed until they're four or five or six. You gotta start a kid in T-ball. They don't go straight into the major leagues when they're 30, so. Okay, everybody, we've met up with our friends. This is Todd and Michelle Elrod. Hello. Now, I've known Michelle for years and years and years, and Todd for about three years now, maybe well, five. It's been maybe longer six, than that. Maybe seven. Well, probably seven. Time flies. <laughs> <laughs> Golly. Yeah, yeah. How long have I known you then? 24 well, years? Three now. <laughs> since we were kids. Huh? Like 50, so. uh, well, it would be, 2000, so. it would be about I think, 2002. Yeah. Okay. Since yeah, we've so been, since we've known really Michelle since so. me and JR have been right. together. Yeah. Lately, yep. we've hooked back up because she's a witch doctor and she helped me <laughs> with, <laughs> no. she helped me, uh, help me treat Lakota when he got oh, his, yeah. his, um, yeah. He got a puncture wound. So yeah. Lakota got an injury a few months back, and it was pretty scary. We decided just to keep it under wraps for the time being. It was really upsetting. It was kind of a touch-and-go situation, and we weren't sure what was going to happen. Now that things have settled down a bit, uh, we'll get a video out uh, shortly of the situation and kind of update you guys on what happened and how he's so done. So tell them what, what that really was, though, so that I don't think you're practicing witchcraft. <laughs> so um, I invested in, we invested in, for our family and our farm, um, a pulsed electro a ma magnetic field machine. So a PEMF machine. And um, what it's designed to do is treat a variety of issues, whether it be acute or chronic, and um, really focusing on inflammation and reducing inflammation in the cell, in the bodies, um, whether it be human or equine or canine. So I'm in the process of getting certified for that and um, we're loving it at home. I've used it personally a lot. We used it on his horse. We've used it on a couple of other older horses that had some ailments and so, so far, 
so good. Yeah, it, so it we, was amazing what it, it did, did for Lakota. Right, yeah. yeah. We, I think maybe just a little bit we've inspired her to start a YouTube channel, <laughs> even though it was kind of something to enter anyway. And what's yeah. that going to be called? Um, so we are L Rod Family Farm. It's just starting out, but by the time we post this video, I expect her to have 30 or 40 videos out. <laughs> uh, yeah. Whoa. Maybe two or three. I have one video and a short out, but we'll okay. have a few more. So yeah. She's already got horses of her own, personal horses that she'll keep and ride and stuff, but you're wanting to yes. eventually work your way towards a 501 C3, C3 yep. non-for-profit rescue um, to just kind of, you know, really dabble in that um, field. Um, I have a very strong desire to um, save and rescue. So that's what we're gonna, we're focusing on. We have 11 in our herd right now and we've adopted over 50% of them. Yeah. yeah. So we're really, really excited to grow that and um, help more horses. Yeah, and that EMPF GLC machine. P-E-M-F. <laughs> yeah, that, that, can, that can help in that a lot too because yeah. you always go do rehabilitation. Yeah. Yeah. Keeps your costs down. There's but, one more piece to this that I didn't share with you um, yet, but we also, I have history of therapy. So my education is a physical therapist assistant. And so I have a huge therapeutic pool of people in my life. And um, we also want to get into um, therapy writing lessons for children and young adults. Yeah. Cool. Um, we have a big heart for, a place in our heart for children that have come into or going out of foster care. And so that's something that we're mm -hmm. gonna really target and hopefully hope, Aww. help. Yeah. But now that's for awesome. today, besides giving her the shout out on the YouTube thing, part of the reason <laughs> that we hooked up today is because Oliver has got her uh, having the Joneses for a draft horse. <laughs> he does. Yeah. So, I love Oliver. He's a good one. You guys did awesome. So despite that she has a background in horses too, it never hurts to have a, a second set of eyes to keep you honest. Yeah. So we're going to go through these horses and look at them and she's going to look at the ones I like and she's, I'm going to look at the ones she likes and then we're going to I'm going to goad her into bidding higher and higher and higher <laughs> as the sale goes I on. I think that might be Michelle with you. Uh, I think you have the rules. It doesn't take much to get me to bid when I'm at a horse sale. Uh, I'm in five mode. I know. Me too. Uh, okay, so this is the, uh, the second one of the three that I was interested in for the Colt Starting Clinic. This is also a two-year-old, came with the other Bay Roan, and it looks like a Red Roan. Yeah, it's definitely roaned out. A little bit. Which color never color never hurts. I say the best color is good and not to buy on color, but if if you can have one that's pretty too, it doesn't hurt. <laughs> and it, it's a nice stout little horse too. Not gonna be as big as the bay, but I think this one might be a might be a filly. Yeah, I believe so. That seems pretty good natured, pretty gentle. So we're gonna make a round and as I get more serious, I'll come back and critique them a little closer and look at how they move and stuff like that. This is a sweet little uh, black pony mare that Todd and Michelle were looking at. They have a bunch of little kids, so I think ponies are high on their list. They're really wanting to get their kiddos into riding. So they were seriously looking at this little mare, uh, but Michelle was a little worried about her age. Michelle had already checked her teeth out and was thinking she was probably over 20, but JR was thinking maybe younger because she is in great looking shape. So he went in there to double check. I have to add, this little pony seemed like such a good girl. She was a sweet Sweetheart, look how she's standing. She doesn't even have a halter on, and they looked in her mouth for a long time, talking, trying to figure it out. Um, so she was just very patient. If I was her, I think I would have bit them. Yeah. Here. How yeah, I guess they did show that tooth every there's time. There's nothing. It only goes down three quarters of the way. Feel it with your finger where you can feel the groove. It's three quarters of the way down. It's not so really I'm thinking, dominant, is it? It's really no. gentle. Yeah, I'm thinking. Try the other two. I'm thinking. The other I'm side. thinking 17, 16. Okay, so closer to 20. How old she is? How old is she? And you can see there's hooks on that tooth, so it has not been. She hasn't had dental work. But in they years. have. They don't. They didn't because there's a big hook on that tooth. That'd be the first thing the dentist would fix. But it's only it's only halfway, a little over halfway down, and then the angles the angle shows. You know, this angle would be bigger. So, she thinks the pony is over 20. I think the pony is just about to turn 17. 
So we'll see what they say in the auction yeah. ring. Of course, yeah. they'll like you in the auction mm -hmm. ring to sell a horse mm -hmm. anyway. So yeah. you never know what they're going to say. And but, when I was mouthing her earlier, I was looking at one tooth two, over. Yeah. And so that might make a big difference. Yeah. She might be closer to that 20, 17 to 20 mark. We'll yes. see what's that. So, but you, you're in. mouth looks good. Okay. She, overall. Well, so this is supposed to be a draft cross? She is a Percheron quarter. Percheron quarter. Oh, she's just a baby. Hi, <laughs> hon. So this is a Percheron quarter horse draft cross, yes. which, why are you wanting a draft horse anyway? Just because Oliver's the most awesome thing in the world or, for, <laughs> or because you're wanting to be able to pull your family around? That is exactly why. So um, we are a family of eight and um, we would like to have a good sized draft horse to have a decent little wagon for and, and just enjoy maybe parades and some fun things. Um, over the years and we have went back and forth about having the opportunity to get something young and train it up ourselves, or if we're going to go ahead and buy something that's already broke and try to untrain the bad stuff so we'll see yeah. we'll see what God brings and how that's going to happen she's pretty sweet this little filly was sweet she looked like she needed to be dewarmed and some groceries and she was a little bit scared in the situation but overall she was a sweetheart after checking out the two horses that Michelle and Todd are looking at, uh, Jared wanted to go back and look at the quarter horses again and kind of just look at them a little he bit more carefully. Friendly. Yeah, they both are sweet. He's got some good height on him, huh? JR was pretty serious about bidding on these two horses. However, he was not going to do that if he couldn't see them move out, um, make sure that they weren't lame or anything like that when moving. Uh, we couldn't find the owner, uh, and after waiting around for quite a while, he decided just to go ahead and get them out and see them go really quick, which maybe was a mistake on our end, but then again, uh, we're not going to bid on them if we can't see them moving. Both these horses uh, checked out awesome. There didn't seem to be anything off with them. The owner obviously cared quite a bit about them and put a lot of care into them. They were both really fit. This little filly did look like she got kicked in the front of her mouth, uh, but nothing uh, tremendously bad. And other than oh, that, she's they were both sweet. perfect. This one's had its mouth kicked in. Oh, no. Not bad, though. Great and that's a cap that's that, that tooth is split so that'll grow out eventually and it'll get better this one here will be the calmer horse because see this swirl the swirl is directly between the eyes and this one here its swirl is higher than the top of the eye so that means this one will be more level-headed than this one. Supposedly, that's that's, that's, that's what the old wise tale is. <laughs> I, but he's very curious. Oh, yeah. I like him. This isn't too high. I've seen it almost all the way up between the ears. He's very inquisitive. I really like his back and the the width of the uh, the width of the muscles, the back strap muscles, the tenderloins. <laughs> That whip there shows a lot of structure, a lot of support. There were not too many horses at the sale. I want to say roughly 12. Uh, so it didn't take long to walk around and check them all out. First up is the little quarter horse filly. This is little mare right here, direction American Quarter Horse Association. She was sold May 11th in 2021. She is a red roan mare. Her name's Rojo Josie, but Rojo here. My funny B Rojo Blue, but Rojo Berry on the top side. On the bottom side, Janita Skip Pris by MCR Skip Pris 2 by Skipper Sweet Egg. She's got driftwood hands off on the bottom side, she's blue valentine on the top side. I claim a fancy little lady. I really thought this filly was a sweetheart. She just had the prettiest, softest, doe-like eyes, and her personality seemed really laid back and just kind of quiet. Uh, I think I even liked her more than JR, but unfortunately, we didn't even get a bid. She she started out bidding higher than uh, what we knew we could go. She sold for 2500 deservedly so. She's an awesome horse. 
He was pulled April the 30th of 2022. He is a Bayroll stallion. He is guilty. He is guilty. His name's Doc Spider Rowan by Sia Wadi Rowan by Rafter Blue by Blue Petita Hancock on the top side. Bottom side is Doc Spider Spider in by Sassy Doc Boy by Sassy Doc. He's born fresh, he's straight off the farm. He raised him. There's a nice, nice coat right there. And already guilty. Uh, 1800, uh, 1800, this was the pick of the two for JR, I think. He really liked this horse. Uh, I think he really liked, well, he liked his look and the color, but also he liked the height on him, and he just seemed like a very smart boy. He is just beautiful. Uh, we both liked him, but unfortunately, once again he started out higher than um well we were hoping and uh i think he sold for 2500 also which isn't much but for uh just an idea that we have it's not even officially for sure and it being the middle of winter we would have to feed a lot of hay on top of that um, price. We just decided to let him go. He was really beautiful though and exactly what would be perfect. Uh, just maybe not the perfect timing is all. Uh, they both went, the filly and him both went to the same bidder I believe and I, if I remember correctly they seemed pretty excited about them which I don't blame them. I would be too. Won't be a year old till April. Three quarter perch on and and the quarter horse. Set up for us, Brent Cope, right there. There's a fancy little lady right there. And now 300 bucks. And now 3 now. 75 now. 300 now. 300 now. 75 now. 300 now. 300 now. 300 now. 300 now. 300 now. So this is the little draft cross filly that Todd and Michelle were looking at. Um, they did bid on her, but unfortunately she went a little bit higher than what they had the funds for, so they had to let her go. Now, five and a half now, seventy, five and a half now, seventy-five now, six. This is the little pony that Michelle was really wanting. Uh, obviously, she's pretty well trained. She doesn't have um, a, a bit or not even a halter or anything. He just has the rope around her neck there. And she has a giant sitting on her. Uh, he's a little bit long. Seven quarters, seven, ma'am. You don't have far to fall off. Seven feet. And now 75. Seven, 75. 800 now, 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 back and forth between another bidder and Michelle and Todd. They were bidding on her. They wanted her. I know Michelle really wanted her, but unfortunately she went a little bit higher than they could uh, give for her also. Well, it was a real good sale. There were some nice horses, especially those two I looked at close, but they uh, they brought a good price and the girl who bought them, I could just tell she, she had plans for them and she looked like she'd give them a good home, so I'm happy I didn't didn't end up with them. Michelle, on the other hand, is not so happy. She was not successful, are you? No, not which, happy. Which one do you regret the most? The black pony. The black pony. Yeah. She's got six little kids, so she's needing good riding ponies. <laughs> Michelle was very upset not getting this little pony mare and I think a little worried about her. So she made some phone calls and found out where the little pony mare went and she actually went to a family who is very excited about her and she has a very nice, wonderful new home. It kind of seemed like it was meant to turn out the way that it did because the following day, Michelle and Todd ended up going and picking up, rescuing an Andalusian mare and her foal. And then a few days later, they ended up rescuing uh, two other horses, a Morgan and then a Missouri Fox Trotter Tennessee Walker Cross, I believe. They have been really busy and have had their hands full. So make sure to check out their channel. It's Elrod Family Farm, and they're just getting started on YouTube. So they just have a few videos out, but they're a very beautiful family. If they continue with their YouTube journey, you'll just fall in love with them. And if you go over to their channel, uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button for them and help get them going. I'm sure they would really appreciate it.
If you've enjoyed this video, we actually have quite a few other auctions, horse sales that we have been to over the last couple of years. A really fun one to go back and watch is the National Clydesdale sale that we went to. Uh, it was just a blast. There were so many beautiful Clydesdales. Um, it was amazing to see. So make sure to go back and watch that one. We're hoping to make it back to this uh, sale again this year, but we just kind of got to wait and see on a couple different things. Uh, and we plan on doing quite a few draft horse events uh, as well this year. So when we we do we'll definitely be putting videos out for you guys so make sure to stay tuned and if you haven't go and subscribe thank you so much